let's say that you have a bunch of data and what you want to do is compare two things at once on a histogram or a bar chart. So notice I have male, female here, and I have gun control information here. And notice if I wanted to show how the males and how the females answered these questions on a single chart. Well, what we're going to do is create what's called a pivot table, a pivot table. So let's walk through the steps on how to do that. Number one, we're going to select our data. So I'm going to select all of this here. I'm going to delete this one just because I don't need it right now. Okay, now I've selected my data. Now up here in data, down here it says pivot table. So go ahead and grab the pivot table. Now it's a blank table, so what we have to do is start filling in things. What do we want to be in the columns? What do we want to be in the rows? So here the rows add the field. Do I want it to be the gender or the gun control stance? So if I put the gun control stance there, I have that. Now ascending order is just alphabetical. Um, showing the totals down here. Notice it grand total here, so if I deselect it, that goes away. Um, now columns, what do I want? Gender is the op option there. Male, female. Notice that this one here is blank and the reason for that is because there is one respondent here who did not, and as you, it's hard to see because of uh, this here, but this one doesn't have a respondent uh, that responded as such and the problem with that question was that it was not required to answer so somebody just moved on that. So uh, that's going to skew our data a little bit Okay, uh, now here's the magic of things. How do I get information into there? Well, what I want is, notice there are no numbers over here. There aren't numbers. There's just a bunch of words. So what I want them to do, I want the sheets to automatically calculate counting up how many of these occur, how many male females occur, etc. So that's what we're going to do, count. So notice here, the values is I want to put um, stance on gun control and I'm going to count A. And notice it starts to populate. So male, uh, female, one female is anti uh, all gun control measures. Um, and seven females are pro and with a background check and um, limited, whatever that is, limitation and background checks there. So again, um, all the data here does show up. now. If I don't want to show this one because it's irrelevant, I'm going to hide it. Um, prefer not to answer. Maybe that not, might not be relevant either. Um, so, but right now, I can now select my chart um, and make a, excuse me, I can select my table and make a chart. So when I make the chart here, I've got options. I can have them stacked one on top of the other. So here's my um, female here, male here, and the total matches up on the top. This is female. This is male, and the total is up there, etc. So um, if we want them side by side, we can see here what's happening. Um, prefer not to answer we have in there. Oh, uh, notice I didn't put the total. My apologies on that. So let's check here. Uh, grand totals are over here. Yeah, so... Uh, another thing I want to point out is that it does create a new um, sheet down below. So you can rename that one to be um, uh, male, female, gun control or some other thing. So that is effectively how to make pivot table um, and to therefore insert a relevant chart. And like so, enjoy.